Tiger Faust, an early stream indeed. Thank you for 11 months of uh, Prime subs. That is awesome. Thanks. How are you doing? Um, yes, so we've got to, well, basically we're going to have to invade North America regardless. Two ways of doing this, both of which involve making a, a beeline across the Atlantic. So we're going to set our Marines off to take, is that the Azores? It is, okay. And then the Bahamas, and then we're into the Med. And we can set bases up there so we can have like airfields and naval bases and stuff and we can get armies stationed ready for the jump onto the mainland. However, we can invade directly. We can go through Canada. We can come up through South America because these guys are already in the Allies, Mexico, and we could uh, we could land here. We can already invade free. Uh, what is this place? French Guiana, Guiana, and British Guiana. And this is this Dutch Guiana, <laughs> Suriname. Okay. It was a fair guess. It was. Anyway, we can we can land here, which, before we then go and uh, press up there, gives us the option of South America. Because there's something that we might do later in the stream. All right, have a good look, Tiger Fast. There's something we might do later in the stream. We might turn upon our allies, the Germans. Uh, we, we might do that as a, as a separate playthrough, going for, for pure Italy dominance the non-historical dominance we might we could we could potentially i think turn on vichy france and the german reich but if we do that i kind of want the soviet union to still be in the war so i'm not going to mess with them any further because i want german troops on this border and it wouldn't be a bad idea. I don't know, if we take the United States, it's going to do two things, though. One, it's going to knock them out, and probably that's the, the end of the Allies, which means it'll free up a lot of German troops which are currently guarding borders here. And I want to be going through the heartlands with a, with a lightning-fast campaign if I'm going to do it, because I, I don't need to take all this. I just need to get their core cities, and at which point I will need German troops occupied here to do so. So if the Allies and the Soviet Union, basically if World War II is over, that would be one hell of a stretch to do that, but we'll see. So with that in mind, as well as us making a beeline across here, we are also going to, because this comes with a, a lot of factories and a lot of oil around here, which would then supply us for the push into Germany. With that in mind, if we can control most of the world's oil supplies, this, the Middle East, America, it's possible. It's possible. Anyway, um, based on that as well, that, that idea, we're also going to want to tidy up here. So we're going to go to war with Turkey, probably through the political focus and Bulgaria. So we're going to work on those. Some grand schemes. We can, we can knock these out in South Africa, but there's no, I feel, great pressing risk of that. If we leave that going there, the Germans are, you know, they've got troops tied up there. It might work in our favour. Anyway, we're going to finish off the UK. Uh, do we need to modify the government at this stage? We've got um, a good amount of manpower. That's good. Don't think we need to do too much with there. What about political options here? Blow the Suez Canal? Absolutely not. Balkan diplomacy. We're not making little other countries. No, we're not doing that. Discredit Haile Selassie is always, always a good option. Exhorting heroism. We don't need to do this because we're at support and war support and all the rest of it. Um, war bonds is a good one. Cons that's consumer good factories. Okay, we'll, we'll take that. Because we have points to spend. And we can also do this as well. This is region-wide industrial integration. This one's a bad one, but this middle one has no downside, just spends political power. So we'll do that. And why not create the African and Middle Eastern sections? Because, oh, I'm wasting factories. That's, that's why I didn't do it before. Uh, we don't need to worry about any of those. And a colonial militia. Yeah, so over on this side of this screen, we also have, when I work my way across there, it's massive. Befriend Turkey. We're going to get claims on Turkey and we're going to go to war with Turkey at some point. And maybe not imminently. I want troops on that uh, that border. 
So we should have, let's have a look at the Navy. Two big battleships there, which can probably just go into the main fleet now. Oh, the main fleet's seen some action in the channel. So these guys, uh, I think they're on naval... Hang on. We'll put them on naval support orders. And we have a mess. All right, what I need to do is recruit some more troops. I want some more of my famous garrison troops. What are these things that are on recruiting? 133rd Division. I think they're full power ones. Uh, these guys were the ones we were putting on garrison duty, weren't we? Yeah, they, they just are for guarding ports and the like. So, I'm going to need a lot, though. I'm going to need 48, I think. And we'll put them in somewhere next to Rome so it doesn't get in the way of... Um, I guess this will do. Then we can ship them out instantly. So that's made a dent in the manpower. The chaos that we have. We've decrypted. We don't need to... Um, we don't need to do that. Oh, that's done. That's 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 going. We That's how we invaded Britain. Good. United States is on the go. These don't matter at the moment. Bulgaria. We've... Excellent. We've... Okay. I, I see we've been preparing for that already. That's good. And all my guys are currently here. What about resistance? Resistance is likely to be... Uh, I would have thought it would be an issue in the UK. Is it not? Did I change this to secret police? What's it under? Is it under the United Kingdom? Secret police. Okay. I, I did that at the end of the last stream. Cool. Uh, we've got some... These are just covering Northern England, are they? They're not supporting any particular armies. Right, so what we'll do is we'll stand down, uh, take that off, and we'll train those guys up. They are supporting an army, so that's okay. We'll leave you guys in there. And I'm guessing the rest are... Uh, some over the English Channel. Are these naval... F these are naval bombers, okay. And they're fighters. Well, they've done some good work over there. So, yeah, basically, we're going to have to find a route over into North America. So, it'll take some time, I think. But we do need to maybe... We also need to consider the possibilities of taking Portugal and Spain, because, you know, why not? We could and we should. And maybe we should just drive down here. I've got quite a front line there, haven't I? There's not an awful lot in front of it. And just push out the Allies out of Africa. To what great benefit? I don't really know. But we could do it, so... Pronto, I think. Are these guys already going in? Yeah, we've got people going in. I'm just going to wait and see how this develops. We'll do it a bit at a time. We'll just use irregular troops for that. So that'll be okay. Anyway, I was looking at the Navy, so the Navy's going to have to repair in a minute. The attack subs are doing their thing, the escorts are busy escorting, and the mine submarines are currently okay. So what we should do with the mine subs... I don't feel like I need to mine the Mediterranean anymore. Black Sea, let's cancel all, all mining orders. I am going to do the Black Sea, and I will do that bit. And I do want these areas, because we, we, we don't want... Oh, that's a good one as well. Yeah, we'll do that, <laughs> because we might be invading over there. In fact, let's do that as well, just to slow things down. And then let's cause a bit of trouble around the Caribbean. I think we'll do that. And that's enough mine submarine activity. And the attack subs... We can, we can add these in again, because we're going to want some naval supremacy. Um, I'll try not to go right up there just yet, because that, that's, that's likely to be extremely risky. Are we doing this bit? We don't need them to do this bit, do we? So, um, yes, we'll, we'll take these off. Free up, the, free up these areas. Or submarine activities. There might be a good one. I, I might 
just leave that on. Nothing's coming through there, but we'll, we will we will operate out here a little bit as well. And I'm trusting that we already have these. I think we already have those in motion. Good. And the escort, well, the escorts do need to be, sadly, everywhere. I just need far more ships in their, their fleets, I think, to really make a good go of that. We've got them escorting overseas. I'm going to start putting them in... I can't. Are they too far? Maybe I didn't have anywhere nearby. Maybe too far. So we can work on getting Iceland and maybe Greenland as a, as a hopping over point. It won't let me go over those. I haven't got it selected. Too far out of range anyway. So that's some stuff done. Unassigned divisions. We've created two new units of Marines. These aren't the big ones, are they? Did I? No. I just created them or I got them given. Maybe it was from a, from a naval um, thing that we did. One of the technologies. It could have been that. One of the focuses. It could well have been that. What's the aircraft situation over Africa? Uh, do we think we need to worry about these anymore? Because... What are those? They're fighters? Oh, those are my heavy fighters. Aren't they? I don't need any of these. There are some naval bombers. Right, I don't need these in the med anymore. So let's uh, delete those. Put them back into the reserves. This thing. Tactical bombers. They're on naval strike. We've got destroyers cruising around there. So I don't think we need worry about that. Uh, where are we going to get some good um, air XP from, though? Because what we do want, we do want naval bombers on the areas around the coast. That is, that is quite useful. So what have we got? I don't even know what my naval bombers look like anymore. Improved naval bomber. Well, that's some. Oh, we've got the British ones. We captured some British ones. Cool. Not that I'll be using albacores, but these, these are mine. So give us some of those. And you guys, just just you. Uh, ship and port strikes directly over there. Do we need to do the other seas? Yeah, we do. I think we need to do the other seas. So let's make use of the naval bomber spot in Scotland. I'm not going to put loads on this. And we've got some over the channel. So they're, they're the two coasts there. Oh, do we have this as well? We currently don't. No, the Germans have that. I'm not going to bother building that up then. And what have we got there? Oh, those are support aircraft. Good. Uh, more assigned divisions. We've got some militia. Don't know what to do with all these. I've got far too many, far too many troops. Um, actually, I, I do know what to do with all these. We're going to sail them over to the UK because we're going to need a crap load of stuff over there, aren't we? All right, let's form a new army, put it in the UK, as in nothing any particular. These are just garrison troops. Let's set them to purple. Purple will do. And we're going to start garrisoning the UK with those dudes. Attento. What else have we got? Two lots of marines, which probably want to be over there as well. Um, I don't really want to set up a separate army for those. What else is there? Pronto, signore. The hell is this? First Division Ascari de Marina. These are... Ascari de Marina? Those are... What? Marines? Irregular Marines, are they? Is that what it, it is? Let's have a look at the template of this. They are indeed Irregular Marines. I have no real clue what to do with those, so I'm going to put them there. 
<laughs> and then I'm probably going to put them in the UK garrison force. Atento. Guess I'm not too... Oh, hang on, we've got... It looks like we have a big garrison force coming over. Formazione. You're coming to the UK, are you? Yep, they're coming there as well. That is 20, that makes up 24, that is... Or, or 25, as it's also known. Uh, that is perfect. Formazione. We've just got two units of Marines. I'm not moving them yet for the simple reason... Sí, signore. I think you need to you need to travel, son. Avanzate. It won't let me. It will let me do that. Good. Um, because we've got the marines on orders. Attento. Not you. Comandi. You ready to go in? Okay. And action. <laughs> Not so brief a recap. Ace pilots. Right, so let's see what our marines face when they go in. We'll conquer Ireland because, you know, why not? What are we short of here? We've got plenty of trains and trucks. We're okay on either of those. Oh, brilliant. Well done, marines. You are... Ordini. You are the champions I always wanted. And trigger that. This guy, we can give him a preferred tactic. Now, this is the... This is the cavalry, dude. The preferred tactic. Blitz. Blitz is always good, I think. Suppressive barrage. Attacker tactic damage plus 10. Defended minus 20. Did we have a bonus on that? Hardness over 50%. That's... No, I don't think so then. I think we want this then, do we? Uh, I'll do that. We, we have been um, playing the strength of our artillery up a little bit in this game. Right, okay, excellent. We might as well get the cavalry over here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them a border with, uh, with Ireland. So they will make their own way there. We've got this hard attacking force sat here in Wales. Come back down to Cardiff and just get training up. Nice. Has that worked? I think that's worked. So we've got that. Return over to, to Belfast. Oh, well, yes, we're going we're gonna to get some better fighter aircraft, aren't we? We're in 44. We... Oh, we might as well research that, then build a brand new fighter. Sounds like a plan. Can't remember what else we were desperately trying to research before. I wonder if it was... Um... Oh, we haven't got the big artillery yet. We're, we're a year behind on that. So, uh, a moment of relative peace. The Colonial Militia. What's this gives us? Sea Wolves, Navy experience, research bonuses. We are going to get to have to um, get some better, uh, what do you call it, subs before long. I'm not going to jump on Turkey just yet. What's that one give me? Counterintelligence, operative slots. Uh, this would give us... Um, that would work now, actually. Consumer goods factories will be reduced. Cooperative programs. Uh, that's Sweden. Fighter designs. You get a military factory, some air experience. We really don't need those, really. <laughs> We're so good at those. The Rome Flying School. Oh, that's, that's all good stuff. Anything more in the army to get? Special Forces Attack and Defense. Oh, no, these these are always, always good. Division Defense on core territory. We might need that if we're going after Germany. Should we start looking at jets? We should probably start looking at jets and stuff. This was something we had to get, wasn't it? Destroyer production cost. And are we going to work these over at all? 
the extra infrastructure. So there's no point getting that one, because that just does a colonial police. Right, let's, let's get that one. Strengthen the Ascari Corps, because we might be using those to, to push through South Africa. Right, so over on here, I think we can do this with purely the cavalry. Attento. So let's do this as an offensive line. All the way over there. In fact, should we just bring over... Should we just bring over the... Um, the Armoured Corps. Si, signore. We'll bring over the Armoured Corps. We'll get those guys over. Germany's doing its thing. Still got troops coming to Plymouth. The Marines are done now, so we can recruit these si, guys signore. into the Marine Division. And that leads me on to something else. These extra two look like they've been fighting already. I didn't think they had. Pronto, signore. Anyway, we are going to invade this place. And so where's a good place to invade from? Why not? Why not Plymouth? Why not? We'll get there and we'll sort that out. Missing equipment production. Tactical bomb. Yes, we've never made any tactical bombers. We probably should have made some, but we, we've never had. What are we seeing over here? So we're sinking American convoys. It's dangerous for our subs to be out here. Like, it's really dangerous. It seems okay. Hey, Leo. How's it going, Mark? Have I missed much from the start of the stream? Not really, no. I've just been talking about uh, some of the plans we have. A possible backstabbing of our German allies, which will be... That'll be quite something if we decide to go for that. But we'll have to see. The Germans will be in a strong position. Oh, I'm picking up some good Canadian convoy um, traffic here. That's working well. So let's start with uh, getting across the Atlantic. So it's the Azores first. But in the meantime, we can also start working these guys over. So if we've got... Do we have any armies left in Europe? Have I, have I shipped them all? <laughs> I might have shipped them all too. Okay, okay what's this? Formation. What have we got here? We've got... 15 divisions of infantry in Alexandria. Uh, do you know what? That would be quite useful on this Turkish front line. Because Turkey's, Turkey's going to go. What's the template of these guys, by the way? This is our really early basic template. Let me just have a look. We should have altered that. We're on infantry 42. An armoured car template? What was I doing with this? Oh, I thought I was going to make that my new garrison troop, wasn't I? Yeah, I'll, I'll just delete that. That's not going to happen. We need some, like, 14,000 armoured cars. Right, this is, this is better. This has got the stuff in that I want. So, you guys uh, are due an update anyway. And uh, infantry 42. We're short of light tanks and towed anti-air. That's fine. Let me just see where we're doing in production. Uh, we're short on medium tanks. The amphibious tanks are coming on well, so I can start upgrading some of the Marines. The advanced artillery, we're about to go to the next level on that. And we need more light tanks, because we did use a bit. The improved anti-air is down. Mechanized equipment we're building up. Trucks, we are we are super good on trucks, but we, we will take casualties on that. So what can I... Um, where can I get more stuff? I need more in the... In this, to start with. Six a day. It's coming on well, though. Oh, at the moment, it looks like we're just massively upgrading railroads. That does make sense. But let's put uh, a few civilian factories in there. And knock that up to the top. Good. Sorry, not civilian factories. Military factories. We have a spare dockyard. 
convoys, 2,000 convoys. We've been taking them, I guess, from the places we've conquered. That's really nice. We're making cruisers. I can just uh, whack more production into the cruisers to speed that up. Submarines. It's about time we upgraded the subs. The destroyers are doing their thing, which is nice. And the old mine subs. Kind of happy to retire those now. But uh, 1940s cruisers. We've got the dockyards for it. Let's put this heavy ship hull into operation. Wow, we got a load of UK... <laughs> a load of UK um, stuff. We may as well do all this. And I'll leave some for repairs. We, we must have loads of free ones. But if I go really crazy building stuff, I don't think I'll have the resources to do that. I'll just check on this. Steel is what I'm thinking. Need 530. We're not... We don't have a lot of spare on there, so... Um, although we're importing a ton. And we don't need to. So if I work this out. We need 539. Um, Alright, so we're at 610 coming out, sending 152. Let's make that 450. So I still do need to import some, but not as many. So Germany. Let's just see, does that update? I'm not doing the maths on this. We'll go until we've got too few. Is this the is this the extra that we've got? This can't be the extra that we've got. Or is it? Do that. Yeah, so I need ten. Okay. It was the extra, I think. That's good. So we can manage with that. Yeah, we need to sort of rein in the amount of steel we're getting from um, from Germany. In fact, let's drop it all together Germany doesn't need our factories let's use Sweden because we're not going to war with Sweden send and we've got engines on the fighters so as soon as we get the new fighter models I'll upgrade those industry should be all done oh well yeah these are these are never quite done are they um Better radar. Naval support, which will help if we're going across the seas. Just naval stuff in general. I was thinking about upgrading the uh, submarines. Oh, this is... Oh, right, so that wasn't the artillery. We have maxed out the artillery. This is the fancy anti-air stuff. We could go for the better tank stuff. Speaking of better tanks, we, we could. I mean, it's a bit early going for modern tanks. But they would be they would be pretty sweet. Um, hospitals are always good. Anything in here? Yeah, yeah, there is. There there are things in here that I think we should probably be getting. So why don't I work over the Marines? Gives us better soft attack and organization. They are going into operation pretty soon. I'll grab that now, it's a quick one. Anyway, slight sidetracking. What we need are you guys on the Turkish border. And although Turkey's not an immediate, immediate risk, if I go over into the UK. Pronto, right, who are these? So I've got two armies up there. Neither of which are quite Attento. full strength. Let me just check out the template. They should all be the same. So it's a modern template. Si, signore. Yep, they've both got the modern templates, which is excellent. So these guys are good for attacking. Ordini. Just for the sake of keeping this organised a bit better. Let's go put Attento. you. In fact, why don't I just use both of these? I'm just going to use a Field Marshal Command here. I'm sure I could have a better Field Marshal than this. Uh, do, do I want to surround it? I don't want to surround it. Because I won't be able to attack from 
this side because I'm not calling them into the war. So we'll go there and then we'll do a sneaky, sneaky attack. And this actually is what the, um, the armor and stuff is going to be used for. So let's send those guys down. Right, let's also cancel the training on the armored core. And then start justifying a war goal. Is that? Is visited by foreign diplomatic envoys sent by Yemen. It's improving its relationships with other nations. <laughs> well, yeah, well, there's going to be no more of that, is there? Let's have that done. This, this is a this is a weak point here. We we want that sorting out. Right, guys. So whilst that's in operations, who is this? Oh, it's okay. It's my marines coming in. Panic over. Can I set this army to just 